Hello everyone, I'm back and uh, for those of you who have been watching the videos for the past few weeks, you may have noticed I wasn't there last week. And the reason why I wasn't there last week was because last week was pretty difficult. Um, and an emotion that's been kind of always been there just came to surface and made last week quite difficult to go through and I don't know about you but for me that difficult emotion that just grew big because of things that happened last week that's anger and I don't think this is just particular to me because I see it around I see it everywhere there are things there are lots of things there's so many things that make us angry right now, that can make us angry right now. Things that are happening at home, you know, your family, or if you don't, if you're alone, the fact that you're alone can be making you angry. Things that are happening with your friends can make you angry, or the absence of friends can make you angry. Um, Having a lot of work can add to this anger, or no work can make you angry. And that's just things that are within our proximity. There's so many things out there in the world that can make us angry and have been making me angry. Things we feel are unfair, um, other people's actions. Um, we don't even have to think so big, just, you know, open social media and start looking at what people are talking about, you know, sometimes, or often that makes me angry. Um, people who we disagree with strongly, who have positions and thoughts that offend us and, like, can be unbelievable to us. All of these things can make us angry. And so that kind of just bubbled over for me last week. And so it was difficult for me to kind of put things together. Okay, so I took some time to just sit with it and think about it first. And now I'm here. I guess I have processed just enough of it. And now I can share, share it with you. So what is anger anyway? I mean, we're, we just say, okay, I'm angry. But what is it? Um, what is it for? Now, I understand anger to be an emotion that really has a purpose. Okay? When we say your feelings are valid, this is what we mean. We mean your feelings have a purpose. It doesn't mean that your feeling is good or bad. We just have to sit with it and listen to what it's trying to tell us, what its purpose is for, what it's trying to express. And so I did that okay, with my anger last week. I acknowledged it and wanted to see what it was telling me. What was its purpose in that situation, in those situations where I really felt angry. So anger is an, emo an emotion that tells us about ourselves, that tells us about our boundaries. It's kind of like a tripwire that when our boundaries and our values are violated, that it comes out. Okay? It's a defense mechanism. Um, it's maybe meant to protect us, to tell us that we need to fight back, to defend ourselves, to do something, okay? to have an action that in response to that violation of our boundaries and, and our values. Okay. So if that's the purpose of anger, anger is meant to defend us, to take care of us, or to defend others, to take care of others. How do we make sure that our anger stays true to its purpose? Because is that what happens to us when we're angry? What do we do when we're angry? Now, maybe it's good to think about that. Often we think of anger as something health unhealthy and destructive. And I think maybe because often it does get to that point where you know our anger just boils over and becomes reactive and we lash out okay 
maybe we shout back, maybe we say some hurtful things. Okay? Um, when anger goes this way, okay, what it seems to me that the primary, like where anger is rooted in, becomes a point of you're wrong. Like when we're angry and we lash out like this, what we are doing is we are just so focused on telling the other person, the other party, that they are wrong and that they should accept it. So it's about rightness and wrong, wrongness. It's about how the other person, the other group is stupid and they should know how stupid they are. Um, and when and when we are in this kind, this state, when our anger is rooted in this, it's easy to devolve into rage and numbness and hopelessness. It's easy to see the other person as just, you're hopeless, this is stupid, I'm talking to a wall, I want to wring your neck. Okay. But what does that anger do? What do those actions do? Does it actually, well, maybe sometimes it could help us feel like we are defending ourselves because we are defending our rightness, okay? We are defending how in this place and in this position, I am right, okay? That can make us feel good, I guess, for some time. But then the question is, is it productive? Okay? Does your rightness do anything to the other person? Does it change anything in the situation? Or does it simply just set the boundaries and and really it, it just makes the difference between you and the other person more stark you're just saying you are different from me period i guess if that's the point then all right that's what the, the purpose of that anger is but how do we do something else, okay? For those of us who feel that, okay, like that kind of anger just makes us stuck, that kind of anger just keeps us in our spaces, just keeps us behind walls, and doesn't really change anything. What does pr productive, healthy anger look like? And I thought about this, and I have been thinking about this for some time, not just last week um, it's something that I've given a lot of thought of because I have a lot of anger in me um, so I, I, I kind of put my time in and really just tried to understand and particularly in the past week I really began to feel that anger cannot stand by itself. If it's by itself, it's so easy to go off into the whole correcting righteousness, I'm different than you, root, which is very isolating, which, and which really leads nowhere but polarization. The whole, you're different, I'm different, we disagree, I hate you. <laughs> um, yeah, so what does anger need to stay productive, to stay healthy, to get us to a place where we are not stuck. And I thought about how, you know, why am I angry? Okay, I went back to that. Why am I angry? What is my anger for? And when I stopped myself from reacting quickly and gave it some thought, I realized that much of my anger is because I care. I care about my boundaries, I care about my friends who are having a hard time, I care about what's happening in the world, I care about what's happening to other people, I care, I am angry at unfairness and injustice because I care about the effects of the unfairness and injustice, it can affect me, it can affect other people, so it's because I care, that's why I am angry, and so what this means is that there can be a different root to our anger and it can be rooted in compassion. 
in how much we care about ourselves and about other people in how much we feel for ourselves and other people in how much we want to defend our values and other people's values rights dignity etc so this kind of anger is something else if we remember that we are this angry because we have these feelings of care and compassion about ourselves and other people then maybe our actions of anger can be different now i'm not saying that's easy okay it's not easy to be compassionate and i know that from my own experience okay? compassion is something that we need to practice and keep practicing and teach ourselves and keep learning um, but that's a whole different topic. In fact, just now I decided that that's what I'll talk about next week, okay? Because that, that needs its own time. But for now, if we can just take this first and remember that whenever we want to retort in anger, you know, whenever we want to reply, give a sharp reply, give a, you know, a sarcastic reply to a comment, um, whenever we want to give a cutting remark, um, Whenever you want to wring someone's neck, you know. Is it because we want them to feel wrong? Is it just because we want them to feel the that or to admit that they are wrong and to admit that we are right? Okay. Is it because we want them to see and feel how stupid they are? Or is it because we care about something? Is it because we care about ourselves? Is it because we care about what's happening in the world, about other people? And if we focus on that care for a moment, just for a moment, remember that what I feel is because I care. Maybe my question is just, maybe you could just observe how your action, even if it's angry, how will your action change? And maybe that little change in your action Maybe it's something that can help, that can make it different, that can help us move away from this being stuck behind our walls, from us just polarizing each other. And maybe it, it can just be something different. Maybe we can observe what happens then. Again, this is not easy. But nothing is easy right now. And maybe, just maybe, these little baby steps, these little actions can produce little changes. And eventually, these little changes will turn into something more significant. But we gotta start somewhere. And this is where I'm starting. Just remembering that I am angry because I care. All right. So I guess I'll continue with this next week. Next week I'll talk about compassion and why it's so hard, but what we can do to really cultivate that and help us access that part of us more easily with practice. So that's it for this week. As always, you can contact me through letters at aidwithfiction.com and through Facebook and through Twitter and through our forum on aidwithfiction.com. I hope everyone's all right. See you next week.